Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, uh, today we are going to be breaking down the Extreme Z Awakening details for four different Bardocks. We of course got the uh, Int Dokkan Fest Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, but we also are getting Easy Ace for uh, three Super Saiyan Bardocks. The Fizz one, the Tech one, and also the STR one. So, uh, yeah, with that said, let's start with the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock first, and... Um, as often is the case, there's a lot of differing opinions about how good this uh, EZA actually is, and I'm kind of siding with the people that uh, consider him to be okay. You know, I think it's a decent Extreme Z Awakening, but nothing too special, nothing too exciting, definitely not on the level of uh, an STR cooler or anything like that so yeah I wouldn't say like he's bad but uh, you know what let's keep talking after we go over the details so before the extremes awakening his leader skill is Super Saiyan 3 category key plus 3 HP plus 130 attack and defense plus 170 or super int types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 90% super attack immense damage medium chance to seal uh, super attack that is and then passive is attack and defense plus a hundred percent when performing a super attack all super class allies attack plus 40% when HP is 70% or below. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill is uh, as expected Super Saiyan 3 category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Super Int types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 120%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and seals super attack, and passive is key plus 3. Attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% when performing a super attack. Super class allies, attack plus 50%, no condition, and then launches an additional super attack when there is a power beyond Super Saiyan category ally attacking in the same turn. Um, so yeah, that is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Extreme Z Awakening. Like I said, I don't think it's bad. Um, he should be hitting pretty damn hard, especially with the double super, uh, for having the power beyond Super Saiyan category ally, which is not hard to get. Um, his defense is going to be not amazing, I think, especially of course in slot 1. You can't really get away with putting him in slot 1 in the harder events because he's not getting this additional attack and defense plus 100% uh, pre-super, right? And also he's not getting this uh, defense boost here as well. so. Um, definitely a slot 2 or slot 3 unit. Now, I do really like the uh, boost to super class allies. Um, that's a huge attack support, right, without any conditions, which is great. But, uh, yeah, I think the main issue with this guy is going to be defense. Um, I heard that, you know, even with a double super, he's going to be under 500k defense, which, by today's standards, is uh, just not great just not great so offensively I think he's gonna be great um, I think he's gonna be fine at least you know he should be doing some good damage but they could have made him a lot tankier you know so uh, yeah overall as I said guys I don't think it's a bad extreme Z awakening I think he's um, you know kind of like a mid-tier <laughs> extreme Z awakening uh, of course this is based off just on paper details we don't have uh, you know him in the game yet, so I can't showcase him. I can't test him out, but uh, based on just my early assessment of the the details so far, um, I think he's okay. That's the best thing I can say at the moment. So uh, let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. Do you guys think he's he's good? Do you guys think he could have been better, um, or are you okay with it? I mean, yeah, it just doesn't really get me that excited. You know, and after waiting this long for his EZA, I definitely was expecting more. I gotta say, I was expecting a lot more from this EZA, so that is the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Now let's move on to um, the Fizz Super Saiyan Bardock, and actually a lot of people are really, really high on this guy, and for good reason. So, uh, for these Super Saiyan Bardocks, I'm gonna just go with the uh, EZA details to save time. So, for the Fizz Bardock, leader skill is all types, key plus 3, 
HP attack and defense plus 80%. Super attack greatly raises defense for one turn and causes supreme damage and seals the enemy super attack. And then passive is defense plus 318%. Attack plus 180% when performing a super attack. All allies keep plus 2. Attack and defense plus 30%. And then guards all attacks within the same turn after receiving an attack, plus an additional defense plus 30% within the same turn that guard is activated. So this guy is just going to be a defensive juggernaut. I mean, defensively, he's everything that, you know, in Super Saiyan 3 Bardock isn't. And once again, not to say that he's a terrible defender, right? Super Saiyan 3 Bardock will be able to tank most events, it's just... The harder events that um you'll struggle with right like uh red zone or obviously cell max and stuff like that but anyways this guy is uh has no defensive issues <laughs> he has no defensive issues i mean he's getting defense everywhere starting with 318 percent uh this support is awesome i love that for all allies and then guard within the same turn after receiving an attack and then 30% more defense and of course greatly raising defense on the super attack so um yeah I'm a big fan of this unit too of course him being a non Gokan fest easy eight makes it even better because he's much easier to get than the super saiyan 3 bardock and uh you know offensively I don't think he's gonna be hitting that hard um he's only getting 180% uh, attack on the super so you know he'll do some damage but nothing impressive but his defense will be top tier for sure so that is the fizz bardock now let's talk about the uh tech super saiyan bardock leader skill tech and agl types key plus three attack and defense wait hold on oh hp and defense plus 90 percent you know they could have given attack as well that's kind of weird i mean who is gonna use this guy as a leader now without any attack unless it's a mistake maybe it is a mistake I'm not sure. I'm going to assume it's HP attack and defense plus 90%, but I could be wrong. Maybe it is just HP and defense, which is garbage. Uh, anyway, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes supreme damage, and seals super attack. And passive is changes STR key spheres to tech key spheres. Attack plus 130% and defense plus 180%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 30%. Per tech key sphere obtained, plus an additional attack and defense plus 18% per key sphere obtained. That's not a tech type. And then medium chance of launching an additional super attack when attacking with three or more key spheres obtained, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and performs a critical hit with eight or more key spheres obtained. So this guy actually reminds me a lot of the um, tech androids, the Dokkan Fest 17 and 18. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be hitting quite as hard as those guys. Maybe even harder, actually. So, um, yeah, his EZA looks really good as well. I mean, attack and defense plus 30% with every tech key sphere is a lot. And, of course, him being an orb changer makes it even easier to get a lot of tech key spheres every turn. And, uh, you know, 130 and 180 to start is solid as well. 50% um, more attack. And also crit guaranteed crit with eight or more key spheres so essentially what the uh fizz bardock lacks in offense this guy has um of course defensively he's not going to be as good as the fizz one but um you know he's going to be getting some good defense because he's getting 30 percent with every key sphere so um yeah yeah tech bardock looking really really nice as well and lastly we have this str super saiyan 2 bardock uh, leader skill, all types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 80%, super attack, raises attack for 6 turns and causes supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy, and uh, passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 180%, plus an additional defense plus 50%, with each super attack performed up to 180%, launches an additional attack, that is a medium chance of becoming a super attack, launches another additional attack, that has a high chance of becoming a super attack with another Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3 category ally attacking in the same turn. And then finally, all allies attack plus 30%. So, um, 
you know, to me, this guy looks like a hybrid of the uh, Tech Bardock and the Fizz Bardock. You know, like, not going to be as good offensively or defensively as the Tech or Fizz Bardocks, respectively. But um, it's going to be, like, a good in-between uh, of the two. So, yeah, all three Bardocks are really, you know, good for non dokkan Fest units for side easy A's, I guess um, and of course we don't expect as much from these guys because they're not the main Dokkan Fest that streams the Awakening right it's really only the main guy the end Super Saiyan 3 Bardock that I feel like could have been better um, these other guys I didn't have the highest expectations so the fact that they turned out to be as good as they are is a nice surprise right but yeah this guy once again it's early um, this is just my initial reaction, my initial impression, but I do feel like Super Saiyan 3 Bardock could have received um, some more love, you know, some better treatment from Bandai with his EZA, but, you know, uh, maybe my opinion will change in the future, but for now, that's how I feel. That's going to be the video, guys. Let me know once again in the comments how you guys feel about this Extreme Z Awakening, and, uh, that's all I gotta say. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Video. Signing out.